Our data contains two equations in column C. In each equation, we are dividing the values in column A by the values in column B. We receive a divide by zero error in cell C3 because it is not possible to divide a number by zero. While our example contains only the divide by zero error, if error and is error behave the same for all error types. We'll look at if error first. If error takes two parameters. The first parameter is the expression we're checking for an error. For this equation, that's cell C2. The if error function returns the result of this expression if it does not result in an error. The second parameter is what we want our equation to do if the value in the first parameter returns an error. For this formula, we'll simply enter the word error. Closing the parentheses and pressing enter, we get 0.5, which is the result of the first parameter since the first parameter does not result in an error. Dragging down our equation, we get the value of the second parameter, error, because dividing two by zero in the first parameter results in an error. We used a string as the second parameter, but it could be anything you'd like, a string, a number, or another equation. Just remember that the second parameter is returned if the first parameter results in any Excel error. Next, let's take a look at is error. Is error takes a single parameter and returns true if that parameter returns an error or false if not. Entering C2 as the parameter, closing the parentheses and pressing enter, we get false because dividing two by four doesn't result in an error. Dragging down our equation, we get true because the value in cell C3 is an error. I often combine is error with an if function. The difference between this and if error is what happens when no error is found. With if error, you get the result of the first parameter. With if and is error, you can return anything you'd like if there's no error. We'll start with if and an open parentheses. Next, we enter is error with cell C2 as the parameter. We close the parentheses to complete the is error function. Next, we enter error, which would get returned if is error returns true, meaning the value in cell C2 is an error. For the last parameter, we enter no error, which will be returned if is error returns false, meaning cell C2 does not result in an error. Closing the parentheses and pressing enter, we get no error because the result of the is error function is false since C2 doesn't contain an error. Dragging down the equation, we get error because C3 does contain an error. To recap, use if error if you want the result of an expression when no error is found or something else if that expression results in an error. Use is error if you simply want to know whether or not an expression returns an error. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, and tell your friends. For a more in-depth look at Excel's error handling functions, check out the Foundations video by clicking the YouTube card or the link in the description. Thanks for watching.